sports. It's in the game. It's always in the game, in every sport, isn't it? Thank you, EA, for... Uh... Alright, well, might as well let this play. Yeah, drivers I will never actually meet in real life and not know who they are. But thank you for giving me at least their names. actually played this game like let me look at the metacritic oh my gosh this actually got decent scores really uh, uh, okay I, I guess it actually got some decent scores a racing game well i mean we had the pretty much gran turismo what what other ones the dirt series before you know we don't see another dirt uh the dirt series until it got to five Gran Turismo. Oh, there was a racing game that uh, racing franchise that just does it justice, or it's really freaking awesome. Anyway, I'm getting off track. Anyway, <laughs> did I make a pun? I kind of feel like I made a pun. Well, anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone you're in. Uh, people, start your engines. We're officially with F1 23 walkthrough. I guess this is part one. Let's get our engine started. I don't know how that sounds. That doesn't sound right. In context, that doesn't sound right. Well, at least I'm being consistent. So after doing my short video of, oh gosh, EA user agreement. Damn you, EA, why do you have to do this? Can I just not? Oh no. This is happening. If I rush through this. EA will not get more of my money. At least this was free. Am I buying the DLC? Heck no. EA has too much money. We don't need to give him more. Just like Disney Plus. Uh, do I have actually EA login? Oh gosh, I do. What the heck? I actually do. That's odd. Oh my gosh, I have a... Profile for almost every company, even Ubisoft. How did that happen? Why did that happen? Well, anyway. Uh, okay, crossplay. Yeah, let's do it. It's cool to play with other people on our consoles. Just the fact that they gave us that is pretty cool. Subtitles off. Perfect. Uh, voice chat is awesome. Is there a performance mode and quality mode? It does not look like it, and it does not matter. The only thing I care about is will the racing mechanics be for, will will it be as great as Gran Turismo and voice control not support it? Okay, I saw that. How much time do I want to put in this? Like maybe an hour on the first clip, thirty minutes on the other one. Okay, I'll save the on. I don't think I ever had anything. Ah, oh, the music changed. Cool. Ah, oh, okay, there is one. Ah, uh, let's do quality for the. We'll just put it for auto. Stern animation, huh? Okay. Well, it seems pretty simple. And of course, as I'm covering the new games, what is your favorite PlayStation Plus Essential or Extra and Premium? You can always hit that like, comment, or subscribe if you're enjoying the new games I'm covering. After basically trying to finish up the other games I was trying to do before.
Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Anthony Davidson is here once again for today's Grand Prix. Okay, sure, David. Report code. I don't know what that's all about. Ah, a PlayStation Store to buy useless stuff that will never help me at all. Okay, play hub. Cool. Oh, just useless stuff. This is the weirdest song ever. Oh, okay, I think this is the story mode. Or is it career? No, it looks like breaking point is the actual career. Okay. Uh, challenging, hard, heck no, normal. Okay, so is this a single player campaign? Previously, well, we'll see. in Breaking Point. Aiden, please tell us, how does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your very first race? I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes. And tell me about Casper Ackerman. How is that relationship coming along? I, I guess that's where F122 explains what happened. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Sponsorship. I stopped them from signing you. Didn't want to play babysitter. We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with them. I had a call this morning from Tristan Horner. You're being watched. You know what his problem is, don't you? Thinks you're getting too old. You want respect, you give respect! That's how it works! How about you give me a little respect? How about you earn it first? I'm done. You what? I'm retiring. Why didn't it work out between you two? He's on more money than me. What? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? And you thought I was past my best. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, there's been one man at the center of it all. I want us to push for fourth. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. So Alfa Romeo potentially on track to really upset Alfa Tauri here. Butler's closing in on Ackerman. Down the inside he goes, and they hit each other. Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him. The Dutchman looks to be continuing at. It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty. What about Casper? We let Aiden pass. Let Aiden pass. We did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash? Butler's okay. Bruised ego, perhaps. <laughs> Uh, okay, so was that from 2022? I feel like we just like we just came to a sequel to maybe F1 2022. It, it already has an established main character of what it, it looks like. It just gave us like recap of what happened in the previous game. So does that kind of defeat the purpose of just you know playing the F1 2022? I mean, is this just basically an upgrade of F1 2022? It just feels like we are just coming in on the heels of a sequel. I mean, that's typical EA. I mean, they usually... All right, let me let me just break it down. EA just released the same game. They're, they're basically the Call of Duty of sports game. Unless, you know, the developer has a heart and passion and just don't really give a crap about what EA thinks, then your EA is just going to pretty much replace EA Sports. It's going to release the same game every year. It's Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty for sports. And they don't change anything. 
And I mean, the NBA and the NFL, those are the exception because I feel like they do try with those. They actually do try to give us a solid single player along with fantastic multiplayer. But if it's something that, let's just say a racing game. If it was a racing game made by EA Sports, either A, point A, it'll be fun. Point B, it won't be fun. And they'll just release the same game year after year after year until basically they rip themselves in the quarter. That's Call of Duty at this point. Uh, yeah, that kind of sums it up. All right, I, I know what I like so far. The character animation is actually pretty great. That's one thing. I'm not so on the story. It, it's something we had all seen before. Well, anyway, let's just get racing. I, I think I pretty much did the Call of Duty there for. What's it like bringing a brand new team to the F1 grid? You know, the first time you see a car, your car. I? With your branding, your name on it, in an official race, alongside Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes. That's what it's all about. Is it? You make it sound like a dream come true. Sounds like the money. If only. When did you first get a sense of what was in store for Connor Sport? 2022 season, <clears throat> straight out of the box. The drivers were always going to clash. That was a calculated risk. But the car, mm, the car, the car had problems. We're midway through the Miami Grand Prix. It's been a cracking race so far, and it's all up for grabs. Absolutely. <laughs> Some fantastic driving here today, especially, I have to say, from Aiden Jackson. I don't think I've ever seen the Connor Sport car being put through his paces quite like this. This is a team, Connor Sport, that have got a lot to prove this season, but Jackson might just be the man to do it. Oh, okay, we're actually racing. I figured that's what's the cutscene. Primary objective. Here's the race. Okay, Aiden, nice I mean, job that's... so far. Let's try and bring that gap down to the car ahead if you can. Copy that. All right, we're actually racing. Yeah, this smells like F1 racing. Woohoo! This is fun. And that might slow the line. Oops. Flashback. Wow, this is super fast. Oops, sorry. Oh no, I'm not using the flashback. I'm going to win the race. Illegal okay, overtake. Mate, that was an illegal maneuver. You've got to see that position or we'll receive a penalty. Okay, fine. Ah! Okay, so there's toy two, and I am. Nice work, mate. That you up a place. Go. Gosh, this car is so fast. Whoa! Whoa! Wow, this is actually fast. What, no haptic feedback? Yeah, probably won't. And... Wow, they are actually fast. Oh, it's not like this is a racing game, isn't it? Get it, get it, get it. Booyah! Oh, 
Oh, what the heck? Why am I? I I feel like I'm stuck. All right, we're gonna have to do a flashback. What the actual heck just happened? Come on! Oh, baby! Ah, there's a hot thing feedback! I mean, with all the twists and turns, you would think. What? Ah, oh, that's lame. Man, they're really strict on the racing rules in this game. It would help if there's music. Well, I, I know what I like, the racing mechanics. I mean, you are going super fast! Okay, got okay, I get it. It doesn't like me taking quarters like that. Weird that there's no music. Son of a... What? Who is colliding with me? I should not be going okay, to the so wall. Okay, our teammate by 3.3 seconds. Ah! I like it, but it is kind of frustrating. What? Okay, I think we're good. I'm not using a flashback. Gosh! Okay. And there. Hey, he's coming from the corner! Coming from the side! Corner! Exceeded track limits. I'm sorry, I thought I was racing, not pretty much trying to obey the traffic laws. Thank you. Oh my gosh, come on. I thought this was a race, not just basically race driver's license 101. I'm trying to win, I'm not trying to play by the rules. Yeah, well, he could suck it. And gap to the car in front is 1.9 seconds. I mean, laps are there. Oh, well, there's 14, but still, this is... I don't know. Going super fast again, and almost got him. Thank you! I need that. What?! Okay, mate, that was an... Oh, come on! Are oh, you gonna make me flash back again? No, no, I mean, it wasn't like a huge collision. I think he's fine. Nice he's so. Good job. Thanks! 
So wait, this is all we're doing? Dang it! So this is it. I mean, it's not bad, I and mean, it's really, really super fast. I mean, I appreciate that. Yeah, the character animation is actually really great. Kind of surprised. So there's not really a lasting appeal on this. Maybe the racing mechanics, but that's pretty much it. Hey, you're not supposed to pass me, bro. I mean, that is a cow, right? Okay, so the gap to the car ahead, 6.0 seconds. Man, these guys are just out of this world. I mean, I can't catch up. Try to keep focus. Okay. Our gap behind is 5.2 seconds. <sighs> wow, this is the longest race ever. Wait, can I just skip this? No? Nope, I can't skip this. I actually have to finish the race. Why? It is super fast, though. Woo! Ha-ha! Made it! I will give it that the uh, racing mechanics and gameplay are pretty great. And that's just five laps of fuel remaining. Alright, looks like Square is the handbrake. Wait, right wait, I'm going super fast. Oh, shoot. Okay, turd, 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 turd. Oh, yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Made it, mother. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. Two point one seconds. Ah, oh, finally. I didn't think we were doing it the entire time, right? I'm 
and that's agonizing for Jackson. Just a few laps left to go, and he's out of the Miami Grand Prix. Oh, with every race, the car looks like a constant problem for Connor Sport. It must be devastating for the drivers. Confirmation as the car comes to a halt, the Connor Sports Aiden Jackson won't be seeing the checkered flag today. But it looks like his teammate will. Jackson's DNF put Devin Butler in a position where he might just be able to secure some points for Connor Sport. Aiden's out. Yep, engine problem, I'm afraid. <laughs> Good job you got me. All right, Devin, don't push it too hard. We cannot risk losing both cars here. It's in the bag, mate. All OK, Aiden. Yeah, uh, how's Devin doing? Yeah, he's doing all right, mate. He looks like he's going to bring him some points for the team. Good for him. Wait for it. Accident waiting to happen. Accident waiting for it to happen. Or are you going to actually make me play it? So is Aiden Jackson the hero? I, I guess he's the hero of the story. Am I checked out? I wouldn't say I'm checked out. I just thought that was kind of annoying. Do 14 laps. Is that what happens in a Grand Prix? My gosh, that's a lot. It's not one thing, then it's another. Did you not see what happened out there today? Aiden, I agree with you 100%. We are doing everything we can. I know the car is not perfect, but... Andreo, it's every race. Do you know how I look losing easy points like this? Knock, knock. <laughs> Sounds like there's a right show going on in here. What am I missing? Not now, Devon. Aiden and I were just discussing issues with the car. Again? I thought that was all in hand. I had no problems today. Smooth. Dick. They say, a shoddy workman always blames his tools. <laughs> mate, 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 mate. You can look at my setup data any time you want. I've told you that. It might help. And I've told you before. It's not a setup issue. The problem is... Jackson, that was the problem with the 2022 season. Ask anyone. I mean, at the end of 21, everyone thought Aiden was going to be signed by one of the big three. But uh, I guess they couldn't reach an agreement, so we both signed for Connor Sport. And do you think that affected Aiden? <laughs> That's no secret. No. For that 22 season, Jackson was a nightmare. I'm coming around. I'm coming around with the cutscenes. I'm liking it. I don't know why I'm liking it. Maybe because it's the personality or maybe it's the passion they're showing about racing. I, I'm kind of digging it. It kind of reminds me of that one Cult Master racing game that I did like way, way back last year. I can't remember what it's called, but that was fun too. It was more of the underdog story of that one. I wasn't a fan of the story, but the underdog and the characters were just likable. I, I could get behind them. And these guys are just kind of like, they kind of ripping to each other. <laughs> kind of like sarcastic dick. Head way, and I kind of I'm on board. I like it. Anyway, huh? Let's see. What news we got? Okay. Uh, we'll just pause and read that later. Oh, my cell phone. Do I have to accept it? Hidden. Hey, I wanted to give you a heads up. Now look, the crew has shared the latest telemetry data with us. Fine, um, but I, I don't think it will tell me anything I don't already know. Just humor me, okay? I'd like you to go through it. Let me know if anything jumps out. I'm keen to iron out these problems as quickly as possible for you. Sure thing. Thanks, Andrea. No thanks needed. I've got your back, Aiden. Remember what I said when you joined the team. I won't let you down. Ackerman wouldn't let me hear the end of it. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Casper. Y you know he told me the same, right? It's just... It's just tricky, what with the car and... Devin poking his nose in any chance he gets. There is a lot going on, for sure, but we're a team. We'll get there. I'll have a word with the Devin. Tell him to give you some space. Both on and off the track, okay? <laughs> yeah, alright. Good luck with that. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's it.
All right, might as well read that email. About moving forward. Okay, team, I appreciate how hard everyone is working. We are getting so much right. And I understand how infuriating it can be for everyone when the problem persists and simply won't go away. I guess uh, pretty much the back luck streak of Aiden Jackson. Rest assured, both myself and the management team are actually aware of the continuing issues with the car and will be exacting a plan to address them as quickly as possible. Getting the car up to optimal performance and elevating everyone's stress level in the process is our top priority. I'll be in touch with each department separately so we can formulate a unified strategy. We'll get there. Thank you again for all your patience and hard work. Andreal Connor, team owner and principal, Connor Sports Butler Global Racing Team. Yeah! Okay. To all the car sport, I appreciate this. Uh, okay, I appreciate this is a group message, but believe me, what I'm saying to each, to you individually. Thank you. I couldn't be prouder of what we treat so far to come from nothing and build such a strong and passionate foundation is nothing sort of miracle. Or sorry, nothing sort of remarkable. And let's get some serious points and show the world what we're capable. My dear, first gratitude, Dave Bob Butler. Okay, cool. Okay, gotta feel uh, okay. Gotta feel sorry for Aiden and Jackson driving like a complete pro, but that car. So why can't we not afford the other car? Just saying. Ouch! Ouch! Man, they're sure, man, they're sure got get it into basically Aiden. They're just treating him like crap. One point five million followers. Okay, what's the set of ads about? So this is exactly like the game that I played before. So yeah, the breaking point before is important. Okay, cool. Well, at least we could pretty much watch the cutscene we were at before. Okay. All right, I guess to the next chapter. Oh, okay, we're on chapter two. Ah, oh, okay, I guess we're controlling the guy who we just saw in the beginning. Hey, boss, got a couple of minutes. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I kind of like this aspect. So, not only are we the racer, but we're also the coach. So, we want to build a reputation, but if we... Okay, confirmed. Kind of like that. I kind of like that we can control everything. So we can control the politics of racing outside the race. It. Really? Am I getting another call? Okay, I guess I can't monologue. Andreo! Just going over those uh, last minute strategy changes you sent over. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make it clear whatever happens out there today, I get pit priority, yeah? <laughs> Well, we'll see how the race develops. If you need priority, you'll get it. But I can't go into the race with that on the table. <gasps> look, 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 look. We all know Jackson's not pulling his way. By me! the points, I need to make sure he's not going to get in my way. Do you get me? Devon, 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 we've talked about this. Give Aiden some space. It's not about you getting in the way of each other. It's about everyone pulling together, racing as a team. Of course. Of course, yeah, so, uh, pit priority, yeah? <laughs> Alright, ciao! Dick! That was a very professional way to do it, but hey, whatever. Okay, just read the interview. Let's, uh, take a look at this for Casper. Andreo, I just read the interview you did. Popped out of nowhere on to my news for you. I know how you hate those things, but you're a natural. You even gave Antonio a mention. I'm sure he'll be delighted. How is the old man? Please send him my best. 
He's 90 now? My gosh. <laughs> 90. That's okay. I can't believe it. Time flies, eh? As per our last chat, I'll be sending you some more mayor highlights later today. Keep an eye out for the little minivo on lap 14. You can't teach that stuff. It's sublime. Looking forward to catching up properly soon. And Zoe says hi. Best of luck in Canada. Oh, Canada. Anyway, no. My friend Casper. Okay. Okay, brief message draw. Okay, to each and every member of our illustrious team. I just wanted to wish everyone the best of luck for this weekend, but I know we won't need it. Andreo tells me we're making real progress, find solution that will mitigate the problems with the car. So I'm experiencing so I'm expecting very big things. I already told the boys that if they don't bring home the points, there'll be trouble. So feel free to remind them the agent you got, especially Devin. Looking forward to see you all in Hungary and not Hungary. Uh, I heard it's nice this time of year. People and feature fortunes to but wait, fortune favors it. Well, fortune favors the ball. I guess we're not gonna go with that bit. Okay. Andy, just wanted to send you a little reminder. We're book Antonio's flight out to Japan. Business class has requested. I'll put it on our plane in your diary, but want to check that you still want to meet him personally at the airport. Happy to sit a car along with someone from the office if you can. Let me know when you have a second. Cool. Okay. Hey, boss, when it comes to Canada, the main advice I'll give to Aiden and Antif is to remember that they can probably carry more speed into some of these corners than they expect. But they can't be too green with the cutting. Some of the curbs here can be ruthless, so they need to make sure they show the respect and didn't take too much. It won't take too much to find a car scrapping out the side of the barrier. Attachment. Let's view it. Cool. Alright, how long have we done it? 36 minutes. Okay. Just stopping here just for a short time. And we'll be right back to part two after these paid commercials. Right?